That's unfortunate news. I feel like we're just waiting and waiting to see that Artemis launch, Christopher. But that storm is really going to do some damage down there. Yes, yeah, so that's the big thing we're focused on is the system. The U.S. luckily has really dodged a lot of tropical activity so far this season, but that's not going to be the case with Tropical Storm Ian right now. A 50 mile per hour tropical storm. Those are those maximum sustained winds with Ian. It's in northern parts of the Caribbean, and it's expected to intensify into a hurricane overnight into Monday morning, eventually impacting western parts of Cuba. Then it's going to move into the eastern Gulf of Mexico and the system is really going to ramp up into at least a category four hurricane. It seems like the ice storms just are some of the most notorious impactful storms for the US. If you think about it, we've had Ivan, Ike, uh, Irma. Those are some of the systems that just immediately come to mind and it looks like Ian could be a bad system as well, making landfall sometime overnight Thursday into Friday morning in the panhandle area area of Florida. That's where it could make landfall is either a category two or a category one hurricane. We're not going to see any impacts here, but our weather is actually helping dictate where this storm tracks. I have a blog coming out in the next couple of hours. You can go to king 5com to see just how our weather is impacting the track of the system and how the Spokane and Seattle National Weather Service offices are helping the National Hurricane Center with the forecast for Ian. Again, that'll be on king 5com